Hi, welcome back. Um, I just explained to you how you can change colors down here with Atom and with installed pigments and minimap. So two things we installed in here. So minimap is now there and uh, we can install it here with install packages and type pigment and type minimap and install it. Then we were actually, um, well, just fooling around with colors and we did not quite understand how was it again because everything is set and I don't touch it anymore it's just okay but if you want to change colors then maybe and that's also a very good idea is to point you in the direction of the website of i3wm.org in the documentations which is very long we are in here somewhere you see very long and Somewhere down there, we have this this bar thing, you know, this is the bar. We are actually well, all the way up here. Here the bar starts and I've, oops, I've explained in another tutorial that we can make option, option one, option two. Why is he doing this thing here? Get rid of it. And then option two, there's another tutorial and this is the colors. So we are talking about colors and these things here. Now, really, I've, I don't know all the details anymore, so I just point you in the right direction, which is here. And here everything is explained what it is, so background, background color of the bar, status line, text color to be used for status line. So some of these things are pretty obvious, like the background is this black thing here, I set it to be black, not red. Status line and then separator is also obvious, it's this little line in here. As can get the color and then it's it's follow down follow every aspect read it and then you're here then you say okay the background should have that color status should have that color and so on and this is the division so border background text but I included it so you don't have to remember it border background text so it's up to you now to explore and to type actually some colors and the easiest way, I think, is to use a red color, which needs one more zero. Save. So that's the use of pigments, you see. And then you all agree that my toolbar down there is background red. So that happened because of my choice here. So if you say, and I've done that somewhere, to have an arch, um, arch blue, um, you can copy paste, actually, probably. We we'll go to GitHub, and that's also a good idea to learn from other people. So that's how I learned. As you go to, um, you go to any GitHub. So um, let's see if I can find it. Antergos i3. Any GitHub from anybody else, not just for me, from anybody, they can put their dot files. They call it sometimes. So there are files on here and I have a config here you see I have a config and then all the way down all the way down all the way down Eric and then back up you look for these colors there's always always the same um, look I mean look uh, structure so these colors have I decided some point in time to have this kind of color control C and let's have a look what does it look like so all this block should go Control v you're gonna save it and see if there's difference oh too bad so no difference i thought this would be a blue one and as you can see here already in pigment it's not blue at all so i'm wondering where did i put this blue one I did, I thought it was on Tergos, but I might be mistaken. So anyway, the exercise is clear. You get it from somebody else. You find codes from other people, analyze it, see what they do, learn from it, read the code, because this is, is the heart of the system. The config file is what you need to have. And then you find colors. And you say, oh, what color should this be? Might be cool. I'm gonna try, copy, and put it in here again. 
Let's see if this brings us any luck. Uh, too bad. So I might have deleted it because indeed, uh, just for mind, I just saw something in the other one, in the Antergos one. that I have also from time to time have config backups. So when you have a config, you make a config and then <laughs> a lot of config backups. So I change something, but I always keep a backup. If something goes wrong or if I really like, uh, like my, to have my blue color back or my yellow or my red color, so these colors and all that, it's just a config file I have to put back and then it's okay. Maybe even a melt comparison. You do know the program melt. Super F5. Let's make a little bit uh, uh, commercial for it because it's so useful. You can compare files. File for config file one, config file two. See what's the difference. Take what you want and leave all the rest out. Directory comparisons, folders, conkeys, the conkeys I have here, and the conkeys that are on Arch Labs. Just quickly check if there are differences. Oh, done. Same applies for the open box configuration that we have on GitHub and your open box configuration. Save or uh, compare the two directories and say, ah, it made a new script. Oh, copy paste over. So quite interesting to make um, to work efficiently. So melt. Okay, uh, let's conclude the tutorial here. So um, have fun changing uh, colors and figuring out what everything is and everything does. Everything just works, so you don't have to change anything if you don't want to, but you can. So, have fun. That's the idea.